Broad shoulders are often powerful, which can aid you in daily chores, such as carrying large objects or participating in sports. You'll also be less prone to get an injury when exercising, because you'll have a lot of upper body muscle mass. Having well-developed shoulders might imply strength and health. In general, there are many benefits of shoulder exercises, and I would really recommend you to perform them at least once a week. They also give a boost to your chest and back, so yes, lots of benefits. So here are 10 exercises for you all that I would recommend. So without any blabbering, let's dive right in. On number one, we have lateral raises. The upper back core, biceps and triceps help to support the lateral deltoid. And lateral deltoids are the part that this exercise hits. You can perform this exercise with dumbbells, cables, or a resistance band. Starting the lateral rise from the outside of the thighs will reduce swinging, but it will also limit the range of motion without putting too much strain on the neck. With soft elbows, the weight will begin in front of the thigh and end at the level of the shoulders at the end of the range of motion. Standing upright with your leg shoulder width apart and shoulders roll back, hold a dumbbell at each hand. Slightly bend your elbow. Raise your arms till they are level with your shoulders. Take a breather and lower your arms. Perform three sets of 12 repetitions. Number two, we have dumbbell front raises. The anterior deltoid and pecs are targeted in this exercise, and the core stabilizes the movement. By standing during the movement, this movement can be developed from steady to less stable. So to keep the dumbbells from swinging, you'll need core strength and balance. This exercise is somewhat similar to lateral raises. The only significant difference that these exercises have is of movement and the primary muscle that is involved. In lateral raises, you raise the dumbbells sideways, and in this, you have to raise your hand in front. Grab two dumbbells and stand straight with your legs, hip width apart, hands facing inwards on the front of your thighs. Raise your hands in the air. Pause at shoulder level and slowly drop your arms. Perform two sets of 12 repetitions. Number three, we have reverse fly. The reverse fly is an excellent full body workout when performed in a hinged position, although it can also be done supported on a bench. Feet should be hip width. Knees pressed out to engage the glutes and support the lower back, core engaged, and head neutral to protect the cervical spine in the hinged position. As the client completes the repetitions, make sure their elbow is softly bent. This is one of the most well-rounded and challenging upper body exercises available. In each hand, take a dumbbell. Keep your legs close together and bend forward at a 4 to 5 degree angle. Knees slightly bent and wrist dangling down. Raise your arms to your sides, pause for a moment, and then lower them. Perform three sets of eight repetitions. On number four, we have shoulder press. The anterior deltoid pecs and biceps are targeted, and the core and rotator cuff provide assistance. It's possible to do this with a resistance band or dumbbells. The rotation of the weight in this shoulder movement is beneficial for your shoulder difficulties because it strengthens the rotator cuff and improves the range of motion. To engage the core and stabilizers, the activity can be progressed from seated to standing. In each hand, hold a dumbbell. Stand with your shoulders rolled back and your legs hit width apart. Raise your arms to the point where they are parallel to the floor. With your upper arms at 90 degrees and palms pointing front, your forearms should be at 90 degrees. Extend your arms and push the dumbbells above your head. Return your arms to the beginning position after a brief pause. Perform two sets of 15 reps. On number five, we have Arnold Press. The anterior deltoid pecs and biceps are targeted, and the core and rotator cuff provide assistance. It's possible to do this with a resistance band or dumbbells. For people with shoulder difficulties, the rotation of the weight in this shoulder movement is beneficial because it strengthens the rotator cuff and improves the range of motion. To engage the core and stabilizers, the activity can be progressed from seated to standing. Stand with your feet hip width apart and a set of dumbbells at shoulder height, elbows bent, and palms towards your body. Bring elbows out wide to sides, rotate hands so palms face ahead, and press dumbbells overhead until arms are straight and biceps are by ears in one stroke. On number six, upright row. The rotator cuff and deltoids, as well as the upper back and pecs, are all targeted. 
The core and serratus anterior muscles of the root cage provide support. It can be done with a barbell, dumbbells, or a cable. Depending on the range of motion and the equipment used, there are numerous hand positions for the exercise. The narrow grip of the deltoids and trapezius in the upper back and neck will be targeted. The deltoids and triceps will be targeted more with a wider grip. While doing this technique, clients with shoulder pain or impingements should be closely watched. In each hand, take a dumbbell. With your legs hip width apart, shoulders rolled back, and palms facing your thighs to stand straight. Flex your elbows to bring the dumbbells up to your chest level. Maintain a neutral posture with your elbows away from your body, upper arms at shoulder height, palms facing inward, and wrists lower than your elbows. Return the weight to the starting position slowly. On number 7, we have Peck Deck Butterfly. Decide of the machine's weight. Take a seat on the platform. With your feet flat on the floor, press your back on the back of the platform. With each hand, grab one of the machine's handles, depending on the model. The Peck Deck may or may not feature a resting pad. Place your forearms on each pad if this is the case. Keep your elbows at chest level and bend your arms at a 90-degree angle. Pull your arms toward your body while squeezing your pectoral muscles while gripping the pec deck handles. Bring the handles or arm pads in front of your chest, hold for a few seconds, and then gradually return to the beginning position. On number 8, we have seated bent over rear delt rays, lateral deltoids, posterior deltoids, biceps, triceps, lats, serratus anterior, and pectoralis major are the muscles that make up your chest. Sit on a flat bench with a dumbbell in each hand. Maintain a straight line with your legs and a forward bend with your upper body. Allow your chest to be close to your knees. Placing your hand on your calves is a good idea. Maintain a straight line between your neck and your spine. Exhale and raise the dumbbells straight to your sides, parallel to the floor with both arms. Maintain a small bend in your elbows. Pause. Take a deep breath and slowly drop the weight to the starting position. Perform three sets of 12 repetitions. On number 9, we have pike push-ups. It is not a traditional exercise, but it is a really effective one. Triceps, serratus anterior, and pectoralis major are the muscles that make up the anterior deltoids, lateral deltoids, and posterior deltoids. The pike push-up is an excellent workout for strengthening core stability and shoulder strength. This exercise tones and supports your entire upper body by working your shoulders, arms, chest, back, and core. Start in a plank position and raise your hips to the sky to achieve the downward dog position. Bend your elbows and press up while attempting to touch your head to the floor. Perform three sets of 10 reps. Last on the list on number 10. We have a plank shoulder tap. Keep your spine, head, and neck aligned by tightening your core and engaging your glutes. Exhale as you place your palm on your shoulder, keeping your back flat and your hips level with the floor. Your core, glutes, arms, wrists, and shoulders will benefit from the plank shoulder taps. This workout improves your posture and flexibility and tightens your stomach while reducing lower back pain. Start with your wrists beneath your shoulders and your feet hip width apart in a plank position. Return to plank posture by touching your left shoulder with your right hand. Continue alternating sides until the set is completed by touching your right shoulder with your left hand. This was all for today. Now you tell us in the comments which exercise you love the most. Don't forget to like this video and share with your gym, bro, and get big together. Do subscribe to the channel for more updates like this. Until next time, bye-bye.